Hi everyone, I'm Ken Fridley, Senior Manager of Technical Knowledge at Centerist Telecom. Today we're going to learn a little bit more about Ethernet over copper and using shdsl.biz to deploy those services and how the RXT2600 shdsl.biz Ethernet over copper module can help you deploy those services. Mobile sites have traditionally been fed by DS1, DS3, or microwave type links, and that suffice for traditional TDM type voice. But with today's exploding data and video for 4G and LTE type services, that simply won't suffice anymore. And the lack of fiber optic links isn't limited just to cell sites. In fact, Vertical Systems Group reported that in 2011, less than 32% of small businesses had access to fiber optic links. Now traditionally these small businesses may have been served by asymmetric digital subscriber line which is sufficient for most customers but in the case of medical records, engineering, or even now Soho, small office, home office, more upstream bandwidth and symmetrical data services are required. What options do service providers have in these situations? Well, they could build out their fiber infrastructure or install more T-carrier circuits using the existing copper infrastructure. More often, however, service providers are turning to bonded symmetrical high-speed DSL solutions that provide higher throughput than traditional DS1 links and extend the life of the existing copper plant. To learn more, let's give Abish Gamiri, Product Manager at Sunrise Telecom, a call to learn more about this technology and Sunrise Telecom's RXT2600 Ethernet over copper solution. How's it going? Good, Ken. You got a couple of minutes to talk to our customers about Ethernet over copper and the RXT2600 SHDSL.bis module? Sure. No problem. Hey, so, why is Ethernet over copper becoming so popular these days? Well, there's a number of reasons why Ethernet over copper is being more attractive service providers these days. The you know, primary reason is the cost of fiber deployment and advancement in DSL technology, especially with bonding, uh, that has made tremendous improvement in bandwidth delivered to customers. Uh, one of the reasons, like I mentioned, is the cost of deployment of fiber, which is very high. And if you think about small and medium businesses, it does not make an economic sense to install fiber everywhere. So that has been the main driver of the technology to find an alternative where all of the small and medium businesses' requirement for, ban for bandwidth can be served. Uh, the other reason is, like I said, bonding. And the primary reason for that is uh, being able to support a high bandwidth, uh, symmetrical, uh, with a single copper wire pair, uh, SSDSL.bis, which is the primary technology for Ethernet over copper, can deliver up to 5.7 megabit per second symmetric bandwidth on a single pair. Now, if you bond that um, for a typical service, uh, small business provider for a 10 megabit service, now you can primarily do that with two copper pair. So that's being very attractive to the service providers today. The other reason is that the traditional TDM T1, E1 lines are quickly being replaced with packet-based net networks and especially Ethernet is being the, the most attractive technology to replace them. And the benefit of that is that unlike, unlike E1 and T1, there's no need for repeaters when you use Ethernet over copper. So the other benefit, Ken, is that service providers can now provide over 40 megabits of symmetric service by deploying channel bonding over configuration with up to eight copper pairs. And that's a big advantage in terms of bandwidth that can be provided in, instead of uh, fiber deployment, which is, which is good enough for, uh, for small to medium businesses. Sure. The new and high value Ethernet services with IP and MPLS can now be supported on installed DSLAMs. By that I mean DSLAMs that used to exist for residential services only. All you have to do is replace with a new line card and that can become an entire new line for business services so you can coexist with an installed DSLAM that have been serving for residential customers only. Well, the other advantage is with the extended reach. 
services that were not possible before due to high uh, distances is now possible because you were able to extend the reach with the new SSDSL.bis capabilities. That makes good sense. And I think that goes back to what we were talking about earlier is that with eight pairs, if you had to take eight DS1s, you would have maybe 12, 14 megabits, where by pair bonding eight SHDSL.bis, you get a lot more bandwidth for mobile backhaul using existing DSLAM. So now you have small office, home office customers that don't have fiber but need more symmetrical bandwidth, or even small businesses that need more symmetrical bandwidth, like uh, medical health, health records, things like that. So a lot of benefits there. Exactly. And not only, not only for that, but as well as meeting customers' SLA and QoS bandwidth requirements due to ease of, ease of use of Ethernet and being able to guarantee performance for regardless of voice or video or data applications to the end user is a big advantage to have for service providers that are now looking to cater for business applications. On top of that, on top of that, there's an IT, it's an ITU ratified standard, which means that there's, there's, it ensures interoperability and also wider availability. That guarantees future investments for service providers that they are guaranteed to have multiple vendors providing a much more wider deployment and also a further reduction of prices over time. So that's interesting information, Avish. So what are some of the challenges that service providers are going to face trying to deploy Ethernet over copper services? Well, in terms of challenges, the major thing is to qualify your copper line. And once the copper line is, is verified with uh, traditional TDR and DMM type of features, you want to be able to qualify if the services is now ready for DSL deployment. And that means you want to verify interoperability, make sure your CPE to CO connections are within the limitations and within the requirements of service providers' networks. The other benefit of using Sunrise Telecom's RXC2600, which is the Ethernet over copper module, is that you can emulate either a DSLAM or a CPE. So from the same equipment, you'll be able to verify lines that are either emulating as a CPE or a DSLAM. You want to verify other parameters such as bonding. One of the benefits of RXC2600 is that we have a four-port solution that you're able to verify bandwidth for bonding up to four ports. You want to verify that and also verify EFM and other protocols such as PPOE and PPOA that will be running on top of your DSL line. More of that classic sync and surf type testing. The first thing we have to do is verify that the lines will come up in a bonded fashion and then that you can connect through the radius server and start and actually transport those data services in. That's right, Ken. On top of that, I think the other benefit of having RxC2600 for service providers is that we do provide advanced IP capabilities where you can ping, you can, you can do a trace route to find out your network limitations and network performance. That's a good point. And then I think it also we haven't mentioned top, coupling that with the RxT2160 module, which is our TDR DMM module, they can qualify the electrical characteristics of the line as well. That's, that's a very good bundle for a typical Ethernet over copper qualification because in one hand you'll be able to verify and certify your copper line as well as you, with, the, with the 2600 you'll be able to qualify your DSL line. So it's a, it's a good pair to have. Well that's good information Avish. Is there any other information we need to know about Ethernet over copper or the RST2600 module? Yes, Ken. I, at this time, Sunrise Telecom is the only company that has a fully qualified advanced Ethernet over copper test solution. So that is one thing we, we have in terms of a complete solution that provides copper qualification as well as advanced IP capabilities with the full DSL functionality for Ethernet over copper. That's good information to know then. All right, my friend. Well, I appreciate your time today and have yourself a great day. 
Great. Nice talking to you, Ken. All right. Thanks, buddy. Talk to you later. Thank you. As we discovered today, the flexibility and reliability of new services provided by Ethernet over copper using shdsl.biz is being adopted by a growing number of service providers worldwide, allowing them to stay ahead of the curve while extending services to previously unreachable areas. By extending the reach of Ethernet to last mile networks allows all of the benefits of Ethernet functions to be available, including quality of service, class of service, VLANs, and IP MPLS type services. Sunrise Telecom's RXT 2600 Ethernet over copper module enables service providers to perform installations correctly the first time, reducing truck rolls and guaranteeing services. To learn more about the RXT and other award-winning Sunrise Telecom test solutions, visit www.sunrisetelecom.com for more information or contact your local Sunrise Telecom representative today.